Hey guys, what's up? I'm Eddie and welcome to my channel. I have a Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 in front of me and in this video I will show you how to set it up. I'm going to do this demonstration with uh, Galaxy Watch 4. So if you have Galaxy Watch 4 Classic, know that the procedure is pretty much the same. But if you have a Samsung phone, then it will be a little bit different. Still, you can follow me and skip those additional steps I need to do as I don't own a Samsung phone. So without further ado, let's do this. This is how the box looks like and in the box beside the watch you will get the charging cable, quick start guide and the warranty card. To turn on the watch, press and hold the home button which is marked with the red color. If the watch is not turning on, that means that the battery is empty, so charge your watch and try again. You should see the Samsung logo on the screen. Wait for about 30 seconds and you should see an option to select the language. I'm going to choose English here and tap on check icon to confirm. After that, the watch will ask you to select the country or region. Here you should know that if you choose the country which language is supported by the Galaxy Watch 4, the watch will automatically translate the software to the language of that country. I live in Austria, so I'm going to choose Austria here and tap on restart. Now you can see that the watch has translated the software to the German language. If you don't want to use the language of your country, yet you want it to be in English, tap on the middle button here and change it back to English. Now on the screen we can see get started in the Galaxy Wearable app on your phone, which means that we need to install the Galaxy Wearable app to connect your smartphone with the watch. So let's do that. Go to the App Store and search for Galaxy Wearable app. Tap on install and open. The app will ask you to connect your watch with the phone. To do that, tap on start. You'll have to allow a few things here and wait for the phone to find the watch. Once you see the Galaxy Watch 4 was found, tap on it. The watch and the phone will show you the ID which should be identical and ask you to pair the watch with the phone. It will also give you an option to allow access to your contacts and call history. It's better if you confirm this as you will use the watch and because I will not, I'm going to leave this unchecked. So let's tap on pair. If your app asks you to install the plugin, definitely do this. I think if you're using a Samsung phone, you will not have to do this. When plugin is installed, you will get an option to sign in for more features. And because these are some very important features, I suggest that you sign in. I don't have a Samsung account, so I'll have to register first. So let's tap on sign in. Here you have an option to log in or to register by tapping on the create account or if you want you can create the account with your existing Google account. So that's what I'm going to do here. Choose the account you want to use, allow Samsung account to access data from your Google account, tap on agree here and continue. Now if you're redirected back and you see the same screen, tap on sign in again and on continue. So I had to tap on continue a few times as I had a problem with the connection. Uh, this will probably not happen to you but if it does just tap on continue until you see this screen. Here you have an option to share some of your data with Samsung. It's up to you if you want to do this. I will not do it. Now tap on continue and OK. Here you'll have to confirm a few things and I advise you to allow everything here. Scroll down and you'll see that more button will become continue button. Tap on it. Now we need to wait a little bit for the watch to get ready. Here I will tap on continue as Eddie. On the next page tap on copy. Uh, you will not see me doing it because I had a connection problem again. Now you'll have an option to restore your watch from the backup. I will skip this. And again, I lost the connection, so I had to tap on continue a few times. And now you'll have to wait a few minutes for the watch to set up. Once this is done, you will see on your watch you're all set. Then starting three dots. And when you see take a tour message, this means that everything is set up. Now I have lost the connection with my phone again, so I'll tap on continue again. When you see the variable up, you're done with the phone setup. Now all you need to do is to take a tour with your watch, so let's do that. Tap on start, swipe down to open the quick panel, swipe up to go back to the watch face, swipe up to see your apps, 
swipe down to go back to the watch face. Now swipe right to go to the notifications. Tap on the screen to open this notification. Swipe right to go back. Swipe left to go to the watch face. Swipe left to go to tiles and press the home key to go back to the watch face. With this, we are done with the setup. The last thing the watch will show you is that this dot means that you have new notifications. And with this, we are pretty much done. You can start using your smartwatch now. I hope that uh, this video was useful to you. And if you want to learn more about Galaxy Watch 4, I will be making more videos about it. So please consider subscribing my channel. Thank you guys for watching and have an awesome day.